becoming one of our most prominent news sources in this country. It is how we stay informed about current events. If our news becomes restricted or altered, how will we be able to fully understand what is going on in the rest of the world? For our government to decide what its citizens are allowed to gain access to is a direct violation of our First Amendment rights. We must stay informed of our government's proposed legislation so we can continue to protect these rights. Through my research of proposed in internet censorship and current censorship in other nations, I hope to persuade you to prevent any government internet censorship in our country and to understand the importance of our right to free speech. First, let's look at what censorship even is. It is the suppression of speech and or other communication which may be considered objectionable, harmful, sensitive, or inconvenient to the general body of people as determined by a government, media outlet, or other controlling body. Some reasons for censoring materials on the internet could be for moral censorship or the removal of materials that are obscene or otherwise considered morally questionable. Pornography example is often censored beneath this rationale, especially child pornography, which is illegal and censored in many jurisdictions in the world. In December 2000, the United States Congress passed legislation requiring internet blocking technology to block pornographic materials in all public schools and libraries funded through certain federal programs. In 1996, the state defense appropriations bill with a provision introduced by Senator Dianne Feinstein to ban bomb making material from the internet. Another reason could be political censorship, which exists when a government attempts to conceal, distort, or falsify information that its citizens receive by suppressing or crowding our political news that the public might receive from these outlets. Most commonly, this occurs when the government casts censorship over independent journalism pertaining to politics. The government has the power of the army and the secret police to enforce compliance of journalists with the story that the government wants people to believe. Some problems with government regulating censorship uh, include a, a prime example would be China and why we should prevent our government from authorizing internet censorship. According to Jose Lim of Evening articles reported on the negative effects of government censorship in China. She said that China's censorship, internet censorship has a major impact on the political and economic industries affecting the information and communication technologies for the U.S. Chinese society. Economic development, bureaucratic politics, civil and political liberties, international relations, and security is also affected by the China internet censorship. Rebecca McInone of the Wall Street Journal concluded that since 2007, Congress has inserted a total of 50 million earned marks into the State Department's budget to fund organizations dedicated to fighting internet censorship. One group that has been lobbying hard for the money is the Global Internet Freedom Consortium, run mainly by practitioners of the Falun Gong, a religious sect banned in China. The problems with government sectors regulated censorship are clear. Now let's look at how our free speech could be at stake and what we can do to prevent our rights from being taken away. New legislation has recently been proposed in Congress pertaining to government censorship over the internet and our rights to free speech continues to be at stake. It is important for people to speak out and protect our rights before they are taken away. Some examples include Timothy B. Lee of Cato at Liberty reports about newly proposed censorship legislation last month. He states that the legislation empowers the to infringing the attorney, attorney general to draw up a list of internet domain names he considers to be dedicated to infringing activities and obtain a variety of court orders designed to block access to these sites for American internet users. According to the Washington Times, were the attorney general to share this view, such site could be taken down without hearing or appeal. That sounds a bit like how the Chinese government silences websites critical in the authoritarian regime that because the mechanisms Dr. Leahy would put in place are very similar. Internet service providers and registers would be forced to erase all traces of forbidden websites as if they had never existed. There are many things people are doing to protect their rights. According to the Inquisitor, an online press release surface, a broad cross-selection of concerned citizens advocacy groups and local activists have gathered to organize a forum to public opposition to the government's controversial and unpopular mandatory internet filtering scheme. Coming together under the banner of Stop the Filter Presents an anti-censorship event, their efforts are part of a 
nationwide push to inject a much-needed balance and public voice to the debate, with Saturday, March 6th, designed as a National Day of Action. According to the Raw Story document, a bill that critics say would have given the government a power to censorship the Internet would be passed this year thanks to the Oregon Democrat, who announced his opposition during a recent committee hearing. Individual senators can place holds on pending legislation, in this case, many proponents of the bill would be forced to reintroduce the measure and will not be able to proceed until the next Congress convenes. In conclusion, it's very important for us to stay informed of our government's proposed censorship legislation so we can prevent any internet regulations from being implemented. Through my research of proposed internet censorship and current censorship in other nations, I hope to have persuaded you to help prevent any government internet censorship in our country and gain an understanding of the importance of our right to freedom.